It's day three of the letter I. We're going to add an inline to our I. And rather than just drawing a straight line, we're going to do it as a series of boxes so that it's almost like another inset area inside the letter. We want to have a little bit of space though around the rectangle. So just like we composed the large I, you're going to do the same thing with some rectangles. Draw these just inside the eye, top, bottom, and then down the middle. Once you've made your rectangles, go in and erase any of those overlapping areas so that you end up with an eye inside an eye. And now we're going to go in and add a little bit of a shadow to this as well. So we're doing an inset shadow. We are going to turn our piece of paper. So again, we'll be drawing those lines to the belly button. And so that you know how far to turn your paper, just shadow draw some of these lines that we've already done. And if those are all pointing to your belly button, you're at the right angle. We're going to be drawing teeny tiny drop lines not there, not there, off of any of those areas that might be inset. So that means that you're going to be drawing them on these five points on the eye. And then using the lines beside, draw parallel lines down and to the side that are all the same size. And by size, I mean that they should all be the same height or width as the other inset shadows. Now comes the coloring bit, which is really going to solidify all of these different shadows we've got going on and the different areas of the eye. You're going to want to pull out two pairs of related colors. So a yellow and an orange are what I'm choosing for one set, and then a pink and a darker pink. Take your lightest, brightest color, so your yellow, and you're going to color around that inset area that we just made. So this is sort of the edge of the eye. As you're coloring, if some of the pencil's coming off on your pen, just scribble it off a little bit to clean the nib of your pen. Now we're going to move next onto the shadow on the outside of the eye. There are two areas of shadows. There are the horizontal shadows and the vertical shadows. The vertical shadows, you wanna color with your lighter pink. And then the horizontal shadows, you're going to do in a dark pink to make them look even darker than these verticals. That will give even more depth to your letter. And now we're moving on to the inset portion, which is your darker eye color plus some black. Use your eye color, so mine is orange, which is slightly darker than the outside, to color in the portion that is not your drop shadow. And the final touch that's going to make it all come together is some black inside the drop shadow. You can either press really hard on your pencil or just grab any black pen that you've got and color that one in. And now with it all colored, the eye, the eye shadow, and then the inset shadow as well, you get an eye that pops off the page. Remember, please share your creative moments with the hashtag NC Alphabet so that we can all create together. That's the end of our I. Next up will be Jay.